nations. So various Supreme Councils in Madrid, now the Supreme Councils are, are, are the most evil, despicable, and wicked resources for revolution. And it's out of them that revolution comes. Belgium, Spain, Italy, France, Port-au-Prince, Haiti, Charleston, South Carolina. Here's a couple Catholics. They say in this book that there's, there were these two Catholics. Uh, somebody who wants to do some research might have some fun. Let me go back to that. Count Alexandre Francois Auguste de Graaf Tilly. That name has shown up before. It's in Unholy Alliances. Uh, an aristocrat from uh, Europe, by the way. And uh, the other founders, just by the way, which are also listed in 10,000 Freemasons, are just happen to be Jewish. I found that very interesting. Various U.S. ministers to various countries, vice presidents of various organizations, obviously we can go on and on and on, but I won't bore you with any more of that. Malachi Martin, who I don't trust one iota, said, the New World Order is very inimical, inimical to traditional religion. It's very inimical to Christianity and especially inimical to Roman Catholicism, and I'm going to tell you right now, most especially to traditional Catholicism. Why? Because traditional Catholicism carries within it the heartbeat of the sacred heart. The heartbeat that goes on during the sacrifice of the Mass, the representation and renewal of Calvary, which is Christ's offering to God the Father of his already shed blood for our sins. 